team, Coach Gary here. This episode of the Brick and Block podcast features the audio version of my March 2021 column in Masonry Magazine. The title of the column you're about to hear is The Next Play. You know, everybody appreciates a great idea, which is a big part of this month's column. It's a unique way of looking at and approaching your business. It's a tactic wrapped up in a strategy. I think it's brilliant. I also confess that I didn't invent it, but I sure do appreciate it. It's pretty short, just several minutes long, but I think you'll get a lot out of it. The main takeaway is for us to tackle our issues in such a way that we will succeed most of the time. So check it out, and then let me know what you think and and how you can put it to work for you in 2021. Most of us need to do that and and should do that and will do that if we're to succeed. And that's my goal for us, succeeding in 2021. Because that has now moved from important to critical. And now, the next play. 2020 was a tough year. Now, isn't that just the understatement of the day? Seems that it's on the minds of everyone. Yikes. It could be that we need some kind of a change. Okay, so Coach Gary is going to send in a new play, the next play. Could it be the secret to succeeding in 2021? Let's check this out, okay? A very prominent coach taught me this tactic, so let me draw it up for you. It's a brilliant concept. But first, I need to make an announcement because it ties into the idea of next play, which is coming up in just a second. The announcement is that we are launching a podcast, the Brick and Block podcast. Think of it as the special team to help us get it done in 21. That's the next play I'm sending in. More about the podcast in a moment. To explain all this, let's talk strategy and tactics. In this case, some basketball. Basketball tactics, because they relate directly to the construction industry in general and your masonry business in particular. Good basketball is popular everywhere in our country. It's not just on the East Coast, but even out here where I live on the West Coast, because we play some pretty good ball too. Believe it or not, there is a parallel between basketball and masonry. East or west, north or south, wherever the game is played. Some schools have lots of resources, most have less. Some have high-scoring offenses, others play with a gritty defense. Same game, but different slants, depending upon the team and the competition. Same thing goes for the masonry business. Different locations, specialties, geographies and job size capabilities. My college basketball team by choice is the San Diego State Aztecs, which has a history of playing some pretty solid defense, some of the best in the country. Generally, they are always in the game, seldom out of it. Mason contractors might consider this tough defense type of coaching. So, how does it apply? How is it done? Team, here's where you should start taking notes. The Aztecs used to be horrible. After decades of mediocrity, a new coach, one with a track record of decent teams with winning records, was brought in. Coach Steve Fisher changed the culture. If you wanted to play on his team, you had to first buy into his mantra of playing solid defense. Everything hinges on it. Selfish play is not tolerated. Excellent defense as expected. Okay, okay, I hear you saying out there, but coach, where does the next play idea come in? I hear you. Hang on for one more moment and you'll see. Here's the thing. Business, like basketball, is a game of switching momentums, of point runs by one team and then by the other. But things don't always go well or according to plan, whether in sport 
or in construction, do they? Well, when he needed to turn the tide in a game, or after a team mistake on a play, Coach Fisher had a tactic that he employed, and we all need to pay attention to it. Here it is. Next play. He would shout this to his team on the floor. That's the secret. Write it down. Next play. Well, what's that mean? He taught his team to compartmentalize. In other words, forget about what wrong or miscue just happened. Just concentrate on what comes next. In his case, he'd call out another play, a different defense, change to a different lineup, a different attitude, a different tactic. But the same strategy, tough, lockdown defense. Screw something up, put it in a compartment, and don't look at it again for the rest of the game. Go to the next play. So here we all find ourselves at the beginning of 2021, hoping it's going to be better than 2020. There's an old saying, if it's to be, it's up to me. So if 2020 wasn't a fabulous year for you and your team and family and company, you name it, then the ball is literally in your court to make the necessary changes. You've heard it said, I'm sure, that one definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, yet expecting a change in results. Well, if you have had enough of 2020, then do something to put it in your rearview mirror and accelerate away from it. Agree? Now, what does all of this have to do with the podcast? Nothing. Yet, everything. For me... The Brick and Block podcast is literally my statement to anyone who will listen that I'm changing up some things, going to be somewhat different this year than last. I'm going on to the next play. Question. What's the next play for you and your company? An easy answer here might be changing up your marketing or your advertising. Heck, Some construction companies do none of either, but still hope to increase market share and revenue. Hey, it's just a suggestion, something to get you thinking about the future, as well as thinking about today. Up to you. Let me give you three quick marketing suggestions on things you could easily do or change, or at least think about them. Number one, website. How's yours? Is it current? Does it still represent your 2021 thinking? Or is it something which dates back a few years? And speaking of websites, let me throw this in. Do you actually have one? You would be surprised at how many companies haven't. Several years ago, a website might have been a geeky idea. These days, your customers expect them from serious companies. Two, social media. Are you utilizing it? You know, it's not just something kids do anymore. In fact, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter all have business pages. All of these help with what's called search engine optimization, or SEO for short. Basically, they are helpful for people to find your company when they are looking for the services you provide. They have money or budgets and want to spend them with the right company. Is that you? Will they find you? Number three, YouTube. Not only is it all about videos, it's also the second largest search engine in the world. It's a great place to be found. Do you have any videos showing off your company? Well, we're going to be talking about that in an upcoming podcast. I could go on, but I won't for the moment. One of the reasons for the Brick and Block podcast is that it's another way for Mason contractors, their vendors, and suppliers to come together, share ideas and resources. A great thing about a podcast is that you could be driving to a job site and still catch this column at the same time. My next play is hosting an audio version 
a full contact project management, giving you a preference of how you take it in. But more than that, I'm expecting to have MCAA contractors, equipment and material supplier members be a part of it. What would that be like? Magazine association staff, even other columnists, would all be a great addition. You guys are all invited guests. So here's the next play. Let's give you and your company some free publicity. Drop me an email and let me know you'd be willing to record a Zoom call with me. Brick and Block Podcast at gmail.com. That's the email address, Brick and Block Podcast at gmail.com. We could talk about the kind of specialty work that you do, the unique materials or the newest types of equipment you provide. Or how about this question? What's the one thing you wish you knew about your industry prior to joining or starting your company? Team, there's a method to my madness. You are going to see how a tiny, yet comfortable, change can benefit your business greatly. It would be helpful for me if you'd weigh in by email and let me know if you're up for my offer of some free publicity. Or maybe just to suggest a topic. We will cover on a regular basis marketing and project management specifically geared to the masonry industry, along with the other topics of most interest. I'd consider it an honor if you could join me there. And you can find the Brick and Block podcast at Spotify or Google Podcast, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, everywhere that podcasts are served. We'll record it and we'll share it with everyone what's working for your business. Your next play could benefit a lot of other companies. Okay, team, that's it for today. You can reach out to us by email, brickandblockpodcast at gmail.com. Spell out the word and, A-N-D, brickandblockpodcast at gmail.com. Be sure and, and join us for the next episode of the Brick and Block Podcast. Be sure to subscribe. It's important. This is Coach Gary for the Brick and Block Podcast. Thanks for stopping by.